What's up everybody, welcome to Mike Zuniga Films. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to properly hold your Zion Crane 2 gimbal, as well as how to walk to get smooth footage. Usually I have two handles on each side, but for most of you, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be using the Crane 2 like so. Um, so I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna be placing it right here on top, I'm left. With my left hand, I'm gonna be placing it right here on the bottom, and I'm gonna be holding it like this. Now, I'm not gonna be holding the crane out when I'm filming like so. I don't have that much stability. You know, your arms are gonna get tired right away. So what I like to do is I, I like to keep my elbows close to my body. That way I have more leverage. Um, I'm saving my arm strength, and I'm able to really control the gimbal as I move with it. Now, when you move with the gimbal, it's not necessarily using your wrists. It's more so using your waist. So like when I pan, as you can see, I'm panning at the waist, right? And if you want to move your wrist just slightly, just to make sure things are in frame, you can, but it's not just the wrist, all right? Now, let's say you want to um, tilt, the, the, tilt the gimbal up or down, right? It's not necessarily using your wrist as well, right? As you can see, if I'm tilting down, let me just go into full follow mode. If I'm tilting down, it's hitting my body. If I'm tilting up, it's gonna hit my body. What I like to do is I like to extend my arms out just slightly, right? Just so it doesn't hit my body, as you can see. And when I tilt up, like so, rather than just doing this. Sometimes you can get away with just tilting like so, if it's just like, you know, a small tilt or you know, you're in a, in a confined space and you can't really move around that much. But I like to at least use more of my arms rather than just having all the weight on the wrists. So now let's go over how to properly walk with the gimbal. Okay, so how do you walk with the gimbal so that you don't get shaky footage or see any of those micro jitters when you're walking with it? The best way to do it is do a heel to toe movement, all right? What that means is as you're holding the gimbal, you're walking with the heel to toe, as you can see. All right, think of it as if, you know, you're trying to walk through your house late at night, trying not to wake up anyone, um, that sort of motion, okay? So let's go through this again. I'm walking forward. Knees slightly bent, heel to toe, all right? And why did I say knees slightly bent? Well, first off, you're not gonna be walking like this straight up. You don't have any stability. What if you're walking in a surface that's not even, like a rocky surface, for example? Um, even here on this grass field, it's not completely even, right? If I'm walking like this and I hit like a little bump, you know, you might roll your ankle. You don't want that to happen. So, knees slightly bent. You're in an athletic position, heel to toe. All right, so the mode that I recommend is lock mode. Currently, I'm in PF or pan follow mode. I'm just going to press mode, the mode button once, and now I'm in lock mode, or L, as you'll see. So the reason why I choose lock mode is because your pan is locked, your tilt is locked, you're not gonna accidentally pan the camera left or right or tilt up and down. And when you're locked, all those uh, settings for panning and tilting is locked because this enables you just to get that smooth and level shot left or right as you're sliding the camera. All right, so first thing you wanna do, have your feet slightly shoulder width apart or at least um, a little outside shoulder width. That way you have a good base. Next thing you wanna do is get your gimbal and hold it. Make sure to have 
your uh, elbows close to your body so you have more control over the gimbal. Knees slightly bent, all right? And what you're gonna do is, let's say I'm, I want to slide, do a sliding shot to my left. I'm gonna start right here, it's over my right knee, and I'm just going to shift my weight over to my left knee. I'm gonna to go to the right. So basically all I'm doing is I'm making sure that it stays level. I'm just shifting my weight in either direction. And that way um, the shot stays level and it's still focused on the subject and it looks like a sliding shot, not a panning shot or any other shot. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you wanna learn how to create awesome video content for yourself, I highly recommend checking out the course that I created down below in the link in the description that you can get for free. In the course, I show you how to create awesome video content with just your smartphone, how to edit the videos, how to speak like a pro on camera, and so much more. So, if you wanna stop procrastinating and start creating that awesome video content that you always wanted, click the link down below in the description and check it out for yourself. I look forward to seeing you inside. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.